Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from Noobkill coming at you with another Madden video today and we're going to go ahead and do some gameplay guys. But first, I just want to show you guys the roster and some of the players we're going to be using during this gameplay. So yeah, we did pick up some Easter players, one of them being Shannon Sharp, um, 99 overall tight end. Very nice. I do like the design on all the Easter players. We also did pick up Orlando Pace. Um, yeah, we actually got him an Easter morning basket guys. So that was pretty lucky. And I know a lot of you guys asked me if I could rock two tight ends instead of having three wide receivers. So I'll just put in Jimmy Graham in the flex position. But it's, the flex position is kind of glitch, guys, with the 33 awareness. Um, they always drop the ball. I even had Jerry Rice, uh, a player with 99 catch, guys, and he still dropped the ball. Um, but let's see what happens. We got Jimmy Graham. He's 6'7", so we'll see how that works out. So that's offense, guys. On defense, we did pick up... Um, the Easter Rod Woodson guys. So there it is right there. Um, I know a lot of you guys, I've been telling you guys that I'm going to keep Eric Berry on the team. Um, but And a lot of you guys have been asking me to change him up. So I'm actually going to listen to you guys. We're going to change him up. Um, we're going to put in Rod Woodson. Still much respect to Eric Berry. Um, it's just those stats, guys. Just look at this. It's just unbelievable. Um, Rod Woodson's stats, guys. It's just crazy. So yeah, we're going to actually put Rod Woodson on the team. And yeah, I did mention like back then, if I picked up like Ronnie Lott, I would switch him out. But I thought I wasn't going to switch it out with Rod Woodson, but Rod Woodson's a 99 overall too, so why not? But let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay, guys. So I'll catch you guys in that next clip. All right, guys, so we're going to be playing the Baltimore Ravens, and it looks like they're going to be kicking to us. So we're going to have the offense on the field first, and let's hope we can convert that into a touchdown. So yeah, let's go right into the review of the three new Easter players that I did pick up. Um, Shannon Sharp, Rod Woodson, and Orlando Pace. Let's start off with Orlando. I really like his addition to the team. I feel like when I have him on the field, I don't get sacked as much. He has really great blocking stats, and it really is really great to have him on the team. Um, I still do get sacked, of course, but I feel like that ratio has been dramatically reduced. So that's a really good um, plus for him, having him on the field. Uh, I really do like him. I can't really show you too much gameplay with him um, because he, I can only control the quarterback and I can't pass to him. So basically, the only thing you can see is him blocking for me. But I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next one. And that is Shannon Sharp. So when I got this guy, the first thing that went through my head is yes. And then I can't wait to sell this guy and make some good coins off him. Um, if you guys haven't seen that bundle opening, it was the Easter bundle. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. It was an insane video. Um, but yeah, I really do like the Shannon Sharp. Um, but let me just try to test this out right here, guys. I'm going to be passing to the flex uh, receiver. So that's Jimmy Graham. Let's see if he catches it. And no. So right there gives that pop-up message that says 33 uh, fail awareness. So that's been in here since the beginning of the game, guys. And I'm still pretty shocked they haven't fixed it. So it doesn't really matter if you run two tight ends, a really good wi a wide receiver. Like I had Jerry Rice in the flex wide receiver with 99 catch guys, and he would still drop the ball. Um, this play I want to show you guys is pretty good. It's called FL, FL drag under. Um, this one I didn't execute it properly on this play, um, but I do it again for you guys here. Um, so yeah, it's called FL drag under. It's under the short passes, guys. So what you want to do if you have a mobile quarterback, drag your quarterback down and a little bit to the left. And as you can see, the whole left side of the field is completely open. And it's very easy with Mike Vick, if you guys have him, to get a touchdown. Just It's, it's just like lightning fast, man. So yeah, it's a really nice play. FL drag under, under the short passes. I really like that play. Um, but oh man, I messed up the two-point conversion right there with Bo Jackson. Um, but let's get back onto the reviews um, about Shannon Sharp. I thought I was going to sell him like right away because literally I just picked up that 99 overall Jimmy Graham um, literally that week. Um, so I was thinking in my head, I can't wait to sell this guy. I'm probably going to make more cash off selling him than Jimmy Graham. And there's no point of me having really two 99 tight ends. Um, so yeah, I was like, yo, we'll sell, we'll sell uh, Shannon Sharp. And then I said I, I would give some gameplay with these three players with you guys. So I said, yo, let me get a feel before I give my review. So let's play like three games. So I played three games. And in the first game, I fell in love with Shannon Sharp, man. <laughs> that 94 speed is insane, guys. I used to play with the 94 overall MVP, Rob Gronkowski. Um, and I love that card. Um, I got him when he first came out. I spent, I believe, like 300000 on the Dante Hightower to complete the set. And once I got him, I used him until 
um they released that 99 jimmy graham which which was about last week so um i've been playing with him forever um but the gronk is more of a tank guys um you pass it to him he'll get a couple more steps and he'll get jumped by everybody um but yeah um let's see this play right here rod woodson man as you can see right there rod woodson gave up the touchdown basically so that wasn't that great um but yeah about gronk i really loved him he didn't really he got you the yards that you needed once he caught it but after that you'd be done because let's say he does break away from that defender he would get that running motion and then out of nowhere the cornerback would be like the flash man he'd be like boom and catch up to the gronk and tackle him so you wouldn't really get those breakaway um touchdowns that you would want if you're doing a long bomb pass um but with Shannon Sharp now, on the other hand, with that 94 speed, we're talking about something different. He breaks away from that one defender and that cornerback cannot come near him. And then he gets that touchdown for you. So I really do like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep him until later on. I'm probably going to sell him later on, but I'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, it's really great addition. I give Shannon Sharp a double thumbs up. I only played with him for three games now. This is the fourth one, and we're about halfway in, and I already love playing with him. He's really great. Um, but yeah, and the next one is Rod Woodson. <laughs> As you guys can see, um, why I laughed there is because um, he just gave up that touchdown, man. And I really do love his stats. He has some insane stats. Um, but my take on him right now, I haven't got an interception with him yet, so no results yet. Um, and he kind of sags off guys. Um, like when I meant like last time when I gave a review on Patrick Peterson, he, I said he sagged off, but now he's playing better for me. He's getting picks on like pick city. He, he's getting a lot of picks, Patrick Peterson. So that's really nice. But when I talk about Rod Woodson sagging, like this man sagging, like Peterson, um, would, um, kind of sag, but he wouldn't let you catch and let your feet touch the ground before he hits you. Rod Woodson, on the other hand, he would let you catch the ball, take a couple steps, and then he'll hit you. So he's really kind of sagging off. So he's really trying to save the long bombs, but the short passes are what are really killing him. Um, and he's not really going for the interception. So I haven't got an interception with him yet. Um, but yeah, I haven't really got a full review on him because i haven't really played too much on defense i've been getting picks with other players and then my offense is back on the field so i can't really give a full review on him yet um but yeah talking about the two tight ends um there's no really reason why you would run two tight ends unless you want a better blocking um but you, that's kind of difficult because of the way that they set up the offensive line um you kind of your flex is kind of away from your quarterback so it kind of is hard for it to block, but if you do want better blocking, it is great. These reviews are really great for you guys, but um, and other people's reviews are great too on players, but you can always base it off our reviews because it's always about your play style. Um, I really love passing the ball more. I used to really love to pass the ball, so I never really upgraded my running back, um, my quarterback's mobility. I always went with like Tom Brady, really great arm and really great accuracy and stuff like that. I had Joe Flacco at one point because the roll to the playoff player oh no roll to the ring player sorry um because he had some crazy throwing power in the beginning of the game so i had him for the longest time because i was my gameplay was mostly throwing and then bo jackson came out and it changed my whole thing so really it, don't base it off people's review too much base it off the play way you play i can tell you um you could be a running a running player like your gameplay is running but i go and tell you to go pick up a better quarterback or a tight end you wouldn't really want to because you're your gameplay is more running so you really gotta try to like take our feedback of our reviews of our players and then kind of mix it in of how you would like to play don't always you don't always have to go and get the best players and stuff like that it's pretty it's sometimes difficult to get the best players like on my team is pretty boss um but is it is a lot of work sometimes guys um that's why just play at your own pace guys it's really fun like my ipad account that one is just my leisure account i just fool around with that it is a pretty high overall um it's 96 or 97 overall but that's like my fun account that's where i don't have to really grind too hard at getting the best players it does have some really good players um but they don't have the best stats um they're more of players i like i like to watch and stuff like that so yeah just play the game like you want to um but really it's up to you how if you want a beast team if you want the way you want to play so yeah just take it in like that 
Um, but yeah, so why I say I'm gonna might be might be selling Shannon Sharp in the future is because it, I don't know if you guys know, but um, there's a YouTuber that plays on the console guys for Madden 15 and stuff like that. His name's Mr. Golden Mutt, I believe, and he released one of the biggest leaks in Madden history supposedly. And one of his followers on Instagram actually worked for EA supposedly, and he went to Mr. Golden Mutt on Twitter and said, "Yo." I worked for EA, I was like a graphic designer or something like that. I, I didn't really listen too much of the video, I was kind of just looking at the pictures. I was kind of doing something else while I was watching it. Um, but he kind of gave us leaks of what players are going to be released because he gave us the card designs. Um, and he said he worked for EA. Um, I don't know if he quit or something like that, he lost his job or something. So he just gave all the information to Mr. Golden Mutt. Um, but we're, if all the leaks are correct right now, um, they've been on point, um, but supposedly some of them have been changed a little bit. Um, that could just be because EA found out that they've been leaked and they don't want everything to be revealed revealed, and everything like that. So they did change some stuff, but um, supposedly we're looking at a 99 Mobile Masters Rob Gronkowski. And Rob Gronkowski is one of my favorite players. Um, I'm a huge Patriots fan, so I really love watching him play. Um, he's just a he's a robot guys. He's not human <laughs> So yeah, I can't wait to pick up that guy's card after that I probably won't be picking up that many other players because I'm pretty satisfied with my team right now um, But you never know I said that back when I had a 92 overall team I think back in like December I said I was done and then crazy players came out and now I'm at like 103 overall or 102 overall um so yeah, you never know, but after I can't wait to get that Rob Gronkowski if it comes out. I hope it does come out. Um, but yeah, so that's probably when I'm going to sell Shannon Sharp. He's a really great player though. Um, but yeah, I use these gameplay videos usually to like talk about random stuff, guys. Um, so I like to like open my mind up with these gameplay videos. So it's pretty nice that I do this. So yeah, um, let's talk about that Easter event, guys. I really loved it. Uh, leave a comment below of what you guys think overall and what rating would you give it out of all the other events have um, been released. Like I said, it's been it's tied at number two out of all the events that's been out since um, uh, Madden Mobile has been out. I'm counting more of the holiday events. Um, the Super Bowl event was insane too. That's probably three overall. And then, but yeah, I really did like the, and yo guys, look at that right there. First pick with Rod Woodson. Okay, not bad not too shabby um but yeah i really did like the easter uh easter event um i did get like some bug in the game with the bundle at first with it not popping up but i'm actually glad that happened because if i bought the bundle that first came out that one kind of gave a, a a pretty bad topper it was just one elite player so when the second one came out it was a little more expensive but i had that extra cash to spend because i didn't buy the other bundle so i'm actually glad that happened because i got some insane stuff in that um the bundle topper um but yeah and then um that event was just really really boss i think and wow we're getting some major lag um but yeah that that was a really boss um event um but yeah I want to talk about the Madden Mobile survey that I did a couple weeks ago, guys. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out as well. I talked about like some of the stuff that EA might be doing later on in the future. And I talked about like a reset in the game and stuff. But one of the things that I actually found out later on, uh, one of the things that they were talking about, like a Madden Mobile swag bag that you can purchase. I said it was like some McDonald's thing where they give you that for free and stuff like that. I actually found it is actually way better than that. Um, it's actually something that they're going to put into the game and it's going to be like let's say it's going to be a bag full of something worth a hundred dollars but you can buy it for some a way less price and it's going to give like madden mobile swag so like madden mobile t-shirts and stuff like that so i'll be so live for that um but yeah i just wanted to talk about that um go ahead and check out that survey guys i talked about some great great stuff leave a comment below in that video about the reset and everything your opinion and everything maybe even leave a comment here about your opinions in the reset um but yeah i want to thank you guys for watching this video we're going to end off this video with me fooling around with bo jackson and we're going to pop up message that says oop network time dealt but yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on this video and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.